so what we're talking about today is clinch work. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys several different clinches from different martial arts and how you can apply that to your training. We're also going to go over a couple escapes and passes to get around the clinch. So as you know, you're here at Martial Arts Limited Association and we're here at Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Leafs right here in Southern South Carolina. I am Coach J.D. Olson. I have a man, Sensei Garrett, coming in to help me out. And let's go ahead and get right into this video. And so today, uh, we are rocking our epic roll from my fight shorts from my BJJ box. So all those guys over at BJJ box hitting up with different, um, different suppliers and vendors to give us uh, some unique kind of equipment. This came out of the BJJ crate. And so again, this is epic roll. And one of the things I really like is how they have the different belt colors in the patch design. I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, epic roll shorts, kind of something new. I also have the epic roll gi that'll be coming in another video. All right, so the first clinch we're going to talk about is what we call the 50-50 clinch. So 50-50 clinch is right here, meaning everything is equal. If I were to throw a punch, I could hit him in the face, he could do the same. If I uppercut, he could do the same. Throw an elbow, he could do the same. Throw a knee, he could do the same. You understand everything right now is what we call 50-50. If I swim one arm inside, this is what we call a double forearm clinch, a.k.a. a Muay Thai clinch. Keep the pommel to the inside, gets his own position, and now he's got the inside position. And I would pommel to get the inside position. Some people call it swimming. That's all fine and dandy. So, that's your 50-50 clinch, that's your Muay Thai clinch. Now, if I come over his arm and hook, he does the same thing, go over my arm, and there you go. This is your wrestler clinch. It's also a 50-50 clinch. I am holding his tricep, he is holding my tricep. Okay, if I swim over his arm, we pummel just like we did in Muay Thai, this is also a 50-50 clinch. Okay, everything is equal. If I threw that punch his ribs, he could get me, I could knee him, he could knee me. All right, that's the wrestler's clinch. Now, we're here like this. If I overhook his arm and I push him away, this is what we call an overhook clinch. And then finally we have, if I come on the inside, I underhook and I push away, this is the underhook clinch, okay? So those are your major clinches to worry about. Now, what we're gonna talk about is how to pass and how to get out of these different clinches. So here I am and we're in the 50-50 clinch. The first thing I wanna do is we call a duck under. I'm gonna push this arm, oh, that's what I All right. I'm gonna push this arm. He doesn't like that, he's gonna push back. When he pushes back, I lift, I duck under his arm, but notice my head is up. I'm not looking down where he's gonna guillotine choke me. Okay, I'm looking up. Then, as I come around, my head's gonna stay glued to his shoulders. I come around, I track the wrist or the arm, I get my ear on the back of his shoulder, and I'm blocking out his arm as best I can and I'm pretty close to him. I don't want him to be able to do like weird little donkey kicks or something like that. So, we're here like this, I push, I lift. At that point, I duck under his arm, hence the name duck under, okay? I come around, I come around, I come around, and I pin his shoulder, and I got him nice and tight right here. Let's do that one more time, okay? So here I am, I push, I lift, I duck under, slide, Take his back. Let's do it one time, no talking. Here I am. And that's the move. Now, we're going to talk the slide by from the 50 50 clinch. So, as we're clinching, I don't let him grab my neck. I jam, we call jam the gun. Second hand is going to track his wrist, and everything else is pretty much the same. But this time, both his arms are kind of caught up because I jammed it in. Okay? Slide by. So as we go, no, you don't. Here, come around and hug that shoulder. One more time. All right. So that's off of that. Now let's talk the Muay Thai clinch. Okay, so he gets the Muay Thai clinch on me. So here I am. So one of the nice things about the Muay Thai clinch is if I move my hands to his triceps. If you just lift, you're out. And then again, if you want to come around, take his back, what have you at that point, that's okay. 
If you have trained on the muk chong, the wooden dummy, at the end we do siong tak sao, okay? That's this. I'm lifting that tight clinch right off of my neck. Kind of cool, I think, that, that they covered that. So, he pummels at the inside. He has this position. I am always going to control here because I'm worried about knees. And then I'm going to go here and lift. And I can either, I can even back out if I want. I don't have to stay there. Just pummel to the inside. He gets that Muay Thai clinch. Slide. Lift. Can you can push back. Okay? So, that's your easiest one. That's your first one. The elbow lift. Okay? Now, he pummels to the inside. Realize, right now, there's nothing holding me in this position if I were to drop for a double leg takedown like we did a couple weeks ago. Okay, so if I just drop and go straight in, I can drop right out of that clinch because his arms like this just go whoop, straight out. Okay, so if he pummels to the inside, I'm right here. All I do is just drop, boom, and I have him. Okay, all right, what do we do with that? Okay, we got around, we did get to the back, we did this, we did that. What can we do with that? Well, let's go back. Now to the 50-50 clinch. So I push, I lift, I duck under, I grab his wrist, I block his heel, I grab his arm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it heel block takedown. I am in this position right here. And back when I was younger, we had a little toy called the sit and spin. You sat on this little disc, and it had a little wheel, and you just turn it and you'd spin around a lot. And that's what I'm going to do with him in my clinch. So before, hold on. So I'm here, I dug, I got underneath. So I'm in this position right here. So I'm gonna put my butt almost immediately over this ankle. So I'm gonna sit and I pull into my side. You should be kind of chilling. <laughs> okay, it's pretty easy. All right, I drop him here and then I'll scramble to a position. All right, so let's look at it. Here we are, I push, I lift, I duck under, I take his back, I'm blocking his heel with my ankle, I mean with my, with my foot, sorry, and now I'm holding his tricep, I'm going to sit right over this leg, pulling him over this leg. And that's where we're at, he just falls down, you can try to scramble if he wants, I can say no, I can take his back, I can pull, and now I have position. This video isn't about what to do afterwards. <laughs> it's just about what to do here. So, lift here, duck under the arm, grab, block, sit, pull. Now I got position. One more time. Push, lift, come underneath, got that wrist, locking his ankle. If you miss this, you're gonna have a hard time. Okay, if I'm here and I go to sit, just step, doesn't work so well. You don't want that. I also like the fact that I'm holding this arm. He can't break fall. Okay? I'm kind of keeping him here for a minute. Okay. Second option. This one I think is really cool. So I go here. I lift. As I come around, here's my position. Okay, this leg is up, could be a little bit straight, could be a little bit bent, not a problem. This hand is not going to worry about anything other than its hip pretty much. This hand is going to come under and hook his hip. Turn this way. It's going to come under and hook his hip like I'm going to touch my nose. Don't grab him in the groin or nothing. Right here. This doesn't work. Right here. Okay, we'll cut your corner a little bit. So, push, lift, I come underneath. As I come, I drop to my knee, this leg is posted, this hand comes underneath, this hand's hooking his hip, and I just pull. And now I got position. Back drop and roll. Okay, I take his back, I'm dropping, and I'm rolling over my hip to get him. Okay? So, here I am. Come around, I drop to my knee, knee is lined up pretty close to his foot, hand hooks, other hand is on his hip, Ooh, 
float right over that leg. And now I got attacking position. I can also do that off the slide by if, we're, if I jam. It's just a matter of coming around and taking position. We got one last one to talk about. Okay, we're here like this. I duck under. I get all the way to his back. I'm here. I'm holding that tricep. I'm going to take this leg. I'm going to bring it over. And I'm driving him completely forward. Okay, front hook takedown. Get around the back here. Whoa. Drive, drive, drive. Oh, look. I got position. So, step. And I'm just, I'm pinching right there. So, right here, if you just step like this, step out. Like, that's all that's going to happen. Here, when I get to his back, when I step over, at this point, my legs are pinching. And now, I'm bringing my entire body weight down on top of them. So if I'm here, we've talked about this, but what if I can't get to their back? He's really good at keeping me in position. So what I do is I lift and I put my ear on his shoulder. Slide your hand in. If you can hold his arm, awesome. If you can gable grip your hands, whatever, hold, pin him. Close. Also good. I want what we call T formation, okay? So we're here, I push, I lift, but my head does not go underneath, it just gets to his shoulder. Here I am, okay? This position, my belly button on his hips, okay? I'm just like this. That is also a type of kind of clinch. When um, we're doing total fighting concepts, TFC, and we say jab to clinch, jab cross to clinch, front kick to clinch, that is an applicable, or a, uh, applicable, that is a clinch that could be used. So I'm here, maybe he throws the jab, I scoop, I'm here, I now have clinch. Could you get punched in the face? Of course you can, but there's no real wind up. Also, I don't just hang out here and invite him to hang out for dinner or nothing, I'm gonna take him down. So, just understand, I push, I lift, I'm here. Now, the backbreaker part, I pull his hips into my hips, and now I lean with my head, and I fold him in half, hence the backbreaker. And I'm going to follow him all the way to dominant position. Push, lift, oh, I'm in, close, here, all the way, cross mount, full mount, side mount, none of that matters, as long as I follow it to a mount. Awesome, thank you, Garrett. Excellent. Well, there you have a couple of the uh, different clinches and how to pass. Understand when you're going to do clinch work, okay? First things first is not to have your head down, all right? You've got to have up. The only time I put my head down at all is when I'm resting it on my opponent's shoulder. So when he's pulling my head down, it's bumping into his shoulder so I'm not being pulled down any lower, okay? Ideally, I want my head up at all times. Make sure you always have your head up, okay? Then, if you can, you do the slide by before they grip the back, the back of your neck or the base of your skull, okay? You jam it before they go, or if they get it, that's when you can do the duck under, all right? And then don't forget, when you duck under, you duck, but you're looking up again. You're not looking down, getting choked out. You duck, you lift and you take their back. Always, always, always pin your ear to the shoulder when you take the back. Otherwise, that stray elbow or something might take you out, okay? Maybe that headbutt backwards takes you out, all right? So, I get my ear pinned, then I do one of my takedowns. And then finally understand that you're not gonna be there very long. Like when you get someone's back, you should be attacking. Like you gotta get on the ground or you gotta do something to your next attack. All right, well awesome. You guys made it to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. This is J.D. Olson here at my gym, Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed. 
You're on the Marshall Unlimited Association YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Hit that like button if you like the video and you like the kind of content you're watching right now. That way I know what to make more of. Also, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We just broke 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. My goal is to be at 6,000 by the end of the year. I think that's a pretty uh, humble and modest uh, expectation, and I think all things say that we're going to hit that goal. So without you guys, that wouldn't be possible. So again, thank you guys for that. And then finally, hit that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out from all of us here at Martial Arts Unlimited. You guys stay safe. Keep your hands up. Keep training. This is JD, and I'm out.